That massive oil spill in the Gulf, engineers had hoped a giant dome sent 5,000 feet below the sea could help stop that gusher of oil. It's something that has never really been tried successfully before. And that became very obvious uh, this morning. Matt Gutman has details from Venice, Louisiana. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Bill. The conditions down there nearly a mile deep were simply insurmountable. It's pitch black, nearly frozen, and the pressure there is over 100 times that what it is here in the surface. Now, I spoke to BP officials last night, and they said they have a couple of options, and one of them is to bring in yet a bigger box, hoping maybe that will work. BP's best chance to contain 85% of this massive leak is in this 78-ton steel dome, but it didn't work. As remote robots settled it over the leaking pipeline, engineers noticed something was wrong. These gas hydrates uh, are actually like crystals, like ice crystals, um, but of course they're lighter than water. The crystals caused the four-story structure to float off the seabed repeatedly, and worse, they clogged the valve that was to bring the oil to the surface. So what we had to do was pick the dome back up, set it over to the side while we evaluate what options we have to actually um, try to prevent the hydrate formation. BP officials tell ABC News a plan is being devised, but this dome may never work. This is an all hands on deck evolution. We continue to oversee BP's activities to ensure every possible resource and action is being directed to this incident. After the dome's failure, BP says there's only one option left, a relief well. Another oil rig has already drilled 9,000 feet down, about halfway. Once drilled, crews will need to connect the new well to the damaged well and cork it with cement and mud. But that could take at least two more months with no guarantees it would work. Meantime, the cleanup continues. As we flew over the spill with the Coast Guard, we saw ships scooping up oil. Other vessels burned emulsified oil far out at sea. And nearly a million feet of boom have been deployed to protect the marshlands and beaches like Dolphin Island, Alabama. And we were on that Coast Guard plane yesterday when the news broke that this dome had failed. And there were BP, BP officials on board, and they simply looked crestfallen, dumbstruck. But even harder hit are some of those fishermen and charter boat captains here who had hoped that that dome system would have been their salvation.